welcome back to Father of Two Plays Boulder's Gate Blind. Last time we, uh, we found the book we were looking for, and we were just about to break into, uh, Regafast's home here. To see if we could free the imp for him. Then we're gonna have to sneak with her, I guess, to the other guy's tower. I've done had enough of this. Okay, we'll quick save before we head in. Now know thee well, I cannot let thee leave. We are meant to be together, whether ye know it or no. Destiny or no, I'm not long for this place. What? What bandit dares enter the home of Regafast? Identify your purpose here, that I might know what to put on thy tombstone. Dare you speak of me as bandit when you commit such crimes as you do? What nonsense is this? Explain yourself before I dispense with you. You hold this beauteous creature captive and still claim the moral high ground. It's a contradiction. No, this wondrous being is my love and life. I would be hers as well, but it takes time. She will grow to care for me as I care for her. One does not cage those he cares for. You may break her spirit and she will serve you, but this is not love. Listen to her. She will learn to be happy here. We shall grow old together. Look unto me, Ragafast. My beauty fades even now. Abella, thy beauty is as brilliant now as the day I found you. Say not such things. Tis flattering, but you are blinded by your passion. Truly see what has become of me. I should not age, but my spirit fades in this ugly place. Yours does as well, but from the obsession over me. But we were meant for each other. Thy very words had said so. In my glade amidst the stars and moon, t'was beauty in that, but I cannot be confined with thee. I am not human, and this is not my home. But this is my home. She will die in your care. Ramazith is right to want her release. Ramazith, Ramazith sent thee. That treacherous eel will not have a Bella. What he suggests is against all tenets of decency. His foul, foul plan dies here with thee. So what is his plan? Uh, didn't necessarily want to kill this guy, but Please. here it is. Well, somebody wanted me to read out some of my uh, monk spells, so I will after this fight. Yes. I didn't want to kill him. Perhaps I shouldn't have mentioned his uh, bitter rival, obviously. Uh, what do you you have that? Let's um cast a deadly spell. Holy smite! Oh, that's not who I want. Uh, here's what I want. Yeah, acid arrow. Um, and she's attacking? No. Oh, wow. Where's, uh, wow. That was real fast. How much hit points did he have? Four missile damage? I'm not seeing any other damage. Oh, critical hit. Okay. Well, that I feel a little bad about that. Oops, wrong button. Um, of course. But I guess we'll free her. I don't want to do something evil with that other man, though. I guess I should have known he wasn't really, you know, the good sort. I mean, yeah, I did know. I just, I have a thirst for quests. I'm not long for this place. My poor Regafast, like many humans, he could not understand the feelings my kind elicits. What of you, Savior? 
I should like to be believe I am free, but your kind often does good things for bad reasons. What are your plans for for me? Um Yeah, you are free by my hand, and none shall cage you again. It will be good to feel the grass beneath my feet once more. If you would just release this restraining collar, I will regain a measure of my talents, though it only ornamental... Oh, I thought it only ornamental when he gave it to me. Please, will you help me? My gratitude is boundless. Please take this cloak made from my hair to remember me by. I doubt I shall seek the company of man for some time. Goodbye. Let's see what this, uh... Oh. What does it do? The fabled Nymph Cloak is renowned for its ability to increase the charisma of even the most surly dwarf. A Cormirian noble hoped to make her politically convenient marriage more palatable, apparently, went... Um, went to great expense to obtain one for herself and another for her husband. So, plus two charisma... And, oh, that's just for wearing it. And then charge abilities. Charm creature. Save versus breath. At minus one negates. Touch. Uh, 12 hours. Area of effect one creature. That's pretty good. What does our cloak do currently? Oh. Frick, I, I forgot I could do that. I could polymorph into a, a wolf. That's pretty cool. I don't know how good it would be. Um, but it is pretty cool. Too bad it didn't look different. To oh, new oops. Point, I punch. Mints could wear the, uh, the wolf polymorphing cloak. Just so we have it on somebody. Yes. Hmm. Well, I didn't want to kill him, but I did. Don't. And just like he said, Don't. done and done. Don't. The High House of Wonders. Um... The Hall of Wonders. I guess we could... No, we can't get down here any further. Let's just try and round out the map here. And then I guess we're heading back to cure our poison. And then I might try and find Cloud Peak? Uh, I think that's what it was called. For our friend Rasad. Oh, speaking of our friend Rasad. Uh, let us go to his character... Uh, class? Yeah, we'll read about his class, because somebody wanted to know. Um, Sun Soul Monk. Sun Soul Monks were once worshippers of Amonitor in the time of the Netheril, but today their worship is divided between Lathander, Selune, and Sun. Sun Soul Monks adhere strictly to the law, using their martial arts and magical abilities to drive out darkness and corruption wherever they may find it. Advantages. Second level may cast Sun Soul Ray once per day. Sun Soul Ray. The Sun Soul Monk projects a blast of light from his open palm, dealing 1d8 fire damage for every two caster levels, up to a maximum of 5d8 damage to a single target. Undead creatures take an additional 6 points of damage, so it doesn't seem to have a casting time. Either, like, instantaneous, I guess? Um, flaming fists. The Sun Soul Monk channels his inner light into his unarmed attacks, turning his fists into flaming weapons that deal an additional 2d6 fire damage per hit for the next round. The duration increases, increases to 2 rounds at level 9, 3 rounds at level 12, 4 rounds at level 15, and 5 rounds at level 25. This special ability automatically modifies normal attacks. No weapon switching needs to be done. Uh, 6th level, they gain an additional use of Sun Soul Ray. 8th level, they get Greater Sun once per day. Do I, I, I don't think I have that one. What level are we? Where do I see what level I am? Um, hmm. Information? Oh, level 7. Okay. So, we get this in one more level. Greater Sun. The Sun Soul Monk 
wreathes himself in flames that act as a fire shield red, granting the monk 50% fire resistance and protecting him from attacks made within a 5-foot radius. An opponent that hits the monk with any weapon or spells within this radius suffers 1d8 plus 2 points of fire damage. Then at 10th level, we get an additional use of Sun Soul Ray. 13th level, we may cast Soul Sunbeam once per day. And that seems to be his last power. I could have a drink here first. The Sun Soul Monk emits a dazzling burst of light that strikes at all other creatures within a 30-foot radius. The Sun Soul Beam does not automatically hit all targets, but makes a melee attack using the monk's current Thacko, plus 3 to hit versus undead. Struck creatures suffer 9d6 points of fire damage, 9d6 plus 3 if undead, unless they save their spell for half, and an in addition, all creatures except the monk must save their spell or be blinded for two hours. Wow, that's awesome. He kind of reminds me, um, of y Yamcha? No, Tien. The powers, like the sun soul beam reminds me of, uh, oh, what, what is it? S solar flare. 15th level gains an additional use of sun soul ray. Disadvantages. Alignment restricted to lawful good. May not use Stunning Blow ability. May not use Quivering Palm ability. Okay. Well, we know a little Ooh, bit more about our friend here. So, is there anywhere else to check on here? I guess uh, up here and down here. There's also a whole other map to look at. And we have that guy is probably not happy with us. Um, The guy we said we would bring the nymph to. But I mean, that was only if I thought it was the right thing to do. I just kind of agreed because it was a quest. He did seem to, you know, think he was helping her or that he was going to help her. Alright. Let's watch them from a distance, shall we? So there's still one part of the city to check out. There's also sewer grates I've been missing. Um, I will remember to check those out, but I think I will wait. Do I only have five of my guys? Oh, he's just already there. I think I will wait until I come back from trying to find, uh, Cloud Peak or Cloud Top. Cloud something. We could look at our journal. That's what it's for, right? Um, Rasad. Is it going to say here? Anything about Rasad? Yeah. Enemies of my friend. I tracked Sorum down at the Bladed Stars Tavern. Uh... A group of monks attack... No, wait. I guess it's this one I want to read, the top one. Yeah, okay. I tracked Sorum down at the Blade and Stars Tavern. He's an untrustworthy little fink, but he turned on the Dark Moon Cult once I applied a little pressure. Sorum says I can find them at the Seven Suns building after dark. So, uh, search term. Let's search. That's actually really cool. Uh, let's search Cloud Peak. Cloud Peak Mountain. That's an awesome feature. I just love this game. Just love it. Those options are so cool. <laughs> um, okay. So, we want to head here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. And we will go find out if we could cure this poison. Uh, it's down here that we want to go. And we will go there. I'll have another drink while I wait for them. Ah, I love me some iced tea. I kind of like watching it from this uh, level, I guess you could say. So, I'm actually quite interested to know what's going on with Rasad. I guess we helped Minsk, and Brandwin was frozen, and Imowen was just born with us, so we've kind of done all our backstories. Uh, oh, Jalantha... <laughs> I remembered that I could just pause the it. Queen 
Proxno insolence. So, you've returned with the Book of Wisdom. Let me see it. Ah, uh, we don't trust you. Before we show it to you, we want the cure to our friends Gaius. You dare question my honor? Very well. This scroll is scripted with the incantation that will rid your friend of his curse. Now give over the book. Um... <laughs> well, here's your precious book. Our bargain is now finished. I would ask you to leave. I hope she didn't screw us. You know, screw us over. Um... So, we're supposed to meet him at the, like, tavern, right? Actually, I think we could probably leave from this way. Uh, the sev- the sword and- sword and something? Sword and stars? It was under... Merrick and Lathander. I think it's here. Yeah, this is it, I'm pretty sure. Blade and stars, that was close. Gaxer the Seer, Elkhart, he must be upstairs. Lothander. Maple... Maple Willow Aspen? Did we speak with her? Pleased to make your acquaintance. What? You were gonna ask about my name, weren't you? Everyone wants to know about it, and you're probably no different. Well, fine. Maple Willow Aspen is my name, and yes, my parents were very fond of trees. I am very aware of it, and no, I don't want to hear any jokes about family trees and me being the sap. Are you happy now? Uh... <laughs> you think you have problems. How do you think I feel, huh? Halcyon Rain, what are they thinking? Ha ha ha! What? <laughs> Uh, so your parents were very fond of trees. Now I'm actually torn on what to say. I'm gonna go with this one. Um, perhaps you should relax a little. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Lathander. My life is in shambles. So, how did you fare? Did you have the cure to my gayness? <laughs> it almost sounds like I'm saying my gayness. I don't know if that's how to pronounce that. Uh, we have your cure. Now where is the antidote to the poison? All right, then. Here's my half of the antidote, Merrick. My partner possesses the other half of the antidote. You'll find him at the Blushing Mermaid Inn. I can't help you other than that. Yes. So we need all of it before we can cure ourselves? Don and Don. Don and Don. Um, of course okay. Where is that? Hmm... Let's take a look at our notes here. So we're gonna have to kill the other guy. Merrick and Lathander. Lathander gave me half the antidote and sent me to the Blushing Mermaid Inn to collect the other half from Merrick. Um... Okay, I'm gonna guess that it's over here. By the port. So, let's take a look. This group shows promise exceptional. Thank you. Um, let's keep heading north. Look for an inn. Those look like warehouses. Perhaps this is an inn? It doesn't really look like it, but, uh... You know, we'll take a look anyway. The Blushing Mermaid, I think it was called. I better be sure of that. Oh yeah, and we're supposed to find that Gorak feller again. Okay, so this is the sailors. Remember this place. Um, right, yeah, we're supposed to find that Garak or Garak and talk to him about that skull. But I can't for the life of me remember where he was. Um, I should have noted his house on the map. Is that a thing you can do? No, it's not. Oh, wait, yeah. Map notes. Um, okay. I should really remember that. And I guess I'm getting closer to the end of this game, so it won't help me so much in this one. But in uh, the other game that I'm playing, Pillars of Eternity, if I can do it, and I remember to do it, it could be very helpful. Hmm. Iron Thrones Headquarters. Warehouse. Joplin's Tavern. Low Lantern, okay. It's somewhere around, so we'll keep checking. 
And it's probably marked on our map, so we'll go like this. Ye Old Inn Potion Shop, Seven Sons, General Store, Merchant's League Estate, General Store, General Store, Tavern and Inn, Flaming Fist Castle. Let's see if we can't uh, finish this quest. I remember now that this was glitching out. Let's see if we can't finish it now. Maybe there's one of those changelings around. If not, uh, we'll just keep looking for that that tavern so we can cure our poison. And then I guess we'll look for Garrick, but I might head to Cloud Peak first if I can find it. Okay, guard. Okay, nothing to see here. Fair enough. Let's just make sure we search the whole place. Okay. It must be glitched. Uh, maybe there's some way to fix the glitch? I really don't know. I guess if I'm certain that it's glitched, I could look up a way to fix the glitch. Who knows, there's probably an awesome item for finishing it, right? There aren't more doppelgangers, I swear to you, man. I killed all of them. I am quite certain of this. Um... Yeah, I guess... I'm gonna just look it up next time I get a chance, because it seems like this is glitched out and maybe I can get it fixed. Because we killed a bunch of them up here. There are no more of them, no. Okay, yeah, I'll look it up at some point. So, we keep looking for the... Blushing Mermaid? Now I can't remember for certain if that's what it is. It's something mermaid, that is. I'm sure if I find an inn with a mermaid attached to the name, it will be the correct one. I'm quite confident on that point, actually. So let's go south, if we can. No, we can't. And, yeah, those are general stores, so... This way... So we've checked at least two locations. We've checked here, here, and I guess we checked here. Let's just go there and check our map again. Inn and Tavern, General Store, Warehouse. Did we go in that warehouse? Yeah, I think we did. Warehouse. Did we go in this warehouse, though? Shop. Gotlander's house. I don't know who Gotlander is. Oh yeah, he's that guy who, like, attacked me for for setting foot in there, I remember now. I don't think we went in this warehouse, so we'll do that real quick. Don't we did not. Don't. Not Naderen. without ye bothering me. Thank the gods for the board's adventurers. I don't know what we'd do without ye. Here's five hundred gold pieces for your help. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> I guess he had a quest to go kill that basilisk. <laughs> uh, let's check out the desk. I don't know why I did, I just did. I'm not lawful good, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I just have to take a peek. Well, I guess I'm glad I went in there. Um, can I get on the other side of this wall here? Is there any way to get there? I have a feeling not, but uh, perhaps I'm wrong. Maybe I haven't found the Mermaid Inn that he's talking about. Oh, maybe that guy's house will show up too when I look at the map like that, so we'll keep an eye out. Um, what was his name? Garrick? I remember that because it's in one of the Star Treks I was watching recently. I'd never watched Star Trek before either. That might surprise some people. Not till recently. And I've watched all of them, and I enjoy them quite thoroughly. Not, uh, not the original series quite as much. That'll probably drive people crazy. Uh, Thieves Guild. Lucky Yellow's Discount Store. Tavern and Inn. Shop of Silence. Okay, we're good. Not in this area, I don't believe. So, next one. Let's go here. Check our map. Uh, Dracon Tavern. Felonious Gist's Manor. Oberon's Estate. Nope. Not here either. A simple task. Not as far as I see, at least. Let's travel there. 
A simple task. Uh, so we're on the wrong side of the wall again. Uh, let's take a quick look. Shop, Merchant League's Counting House. Did we go in there? I can't remember. Um, let's go back here, and I think... A simple task. Let's leave via up here. Or right here, maybe? Yeah, let's go out this way and see if we can't get to that location. And I'll pour myself another drink here. While we're waiting. Okay. Sorry if my chair squeaks. I need a new chair. This one is getting quite old, but uh, that's neither here nor there. No, it seems like we can't... Maybe if we come off of this map and come over to this one, we can get there. Um, so let's check here. Razimuth's house, we could stop there. The Ducal Palace, we could check that out, too. Um, so... Try exiting to the other map from here, but first I guess we're going to talk to Razameth there with his tower. I don't know how many days it's been. I should be keeping track of that since I was, you know, poisoned. It'll work out, man. My secrets are mine alone. You know enough of me already. I see that you have returned, yes. You need not say that you have betrayed me, for I scry and spy. Certainly you are foolish to have come here after breaking our deal. I have many spells waiting for parts of Nymph, and will be a long time looking for another. An expensive delay you have cost me, and compensation be from your hide. Come get me at the top if you dare. Huh. Okay. I guess I dare. Um... Some oozes. Jellies. Talk for fight. I care not. For right. Mustard Go jellies are fairly tough. Oh, is she poison? She is. Um. There we go. I will show you victory. Not really a big deal. I was hoping to climb the tower though. So I'm pleased about that part at least. Oh. Oops. Okay. Up we go. Uh, let's have Minsk come over here. How do I make him transform into a wolf? I don't actually know. Oh, okay. Okay, fair enough. He'll hold his own over there, no problem. Ha! And up we go. I wonder how many levels there are. A simple task. Really, hobgoblins? I'm disappointed. Okay, this might be a little more challenging. Hmm. Scorcher? No. That's my timer. Lightning bolt. Ice storm. Oh, it's hitting everybody. <laughs> uh, get down. <laughs> uh, it's somebody poisoned. These two are poisoned. These three are poisoned. Um, I thought she had magic for curing poison. Maybe that was someone else. Those are her spells. Uh, here we go. She can use it on herself, but she'll die first. 
And then Hello. let's use some healing. Guess we'll just let the poison run its course. We have a lot of heals, really. Fair amount, at least. It's, that's a good poison. By good, I mean bad. What is your command? Uh, keep healing. Seems to really be hurting him, Owen. There we go. And we could use a couple more heals, why not? And I think before we go up, we'll cast a couple of, like, blessings on ourselves. Hello. Oh, okay, she's doing it. <laughs> I didn't really think it through when I used that uh, spell, but it could have been worse. If I didn't think to run, it definitely could have been much worse. Okay. Lord, now I wonder. A simple task. Now, we'll grab this stuff. But uh, why don't we trade these to her? Got a few things to identify, and a staff of a wand of fireballs. Let's have her put these away. Okay. Staff of Fireball is awesome. Okay, so I was going to... Bestowed a frost kiss Ooh. upon our enemies. A frost kiss, eh? Uh, let's... No, we want bless. And then I think I will also use the other one, chant. That's a cool helmet she has on. Okay. Chant. Why would I come tell this guy I betrayed him? I guess I wanted a fight, right? Or at least to talk about what he was doing. He was going to harvest her organs, yes? It sounded like that was his plan. Okay. <laughs> Did she just say what I what I think she said by Valcor's strapping buttocks? I'm pretty sure that's what I heard. Valcor? I I'm not quite sure I heard the god's name, but it was definitely about his strapping buttocks. Okay, we're gonna finish this tower before we end the episode. If that wasn't obvious, I guess. We will use Sun Soul Ray because it is Bidars. Let's use one of those. Ooh! You got owned, my friend, some bracers. Ooh, and he's got a library. Okay, first. Let's uh, trade some of this stuff to her, so she can identify it. And treasure can go to Rasad because he's never carrying much. He always has potions on him. Oh, uh, there we go. I don't need that staff, I'll drop that. And... Let's pick up the books, I'll have to read them next time. We read that already, the Dead 3, I'll drop that. I think we read that already as well. And that. Ooh, a tome. Oh, some scrolls. Let's, um, queer check fellow. for traps. 
way. Okay. What you want? Yep, I've done had enough of this. <laughs> Everyone, get over there so Imun can rob the place proper. I've done had enough of this. Wand, gold, scrolls. Oh, uh, and a the potion. Cold? No less than done. Oh, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> this way. Whatever they need. As directed. And I suppose we should trade these to her. Just so many arrows. Uh let's let's equip some up because we are running low on a few. What are these? Fire arrow plus two. Let's use some of those for a while, shall we? And she's full up. We could probably Yeah, put a couple of these away and give her some room. We got a necklace, a special necklace or amulet. That's cool. I think that's one of my first ones of those. Some bracers. Okay. So, now let's Where switch to the main character. Why can't I? Okay. Of course. I guess I can't pan anymore that way. Fair enough. We have that one as well. Or read that one. I didn't see what that one was called. Unicorn Run. I don't think we had that one. So, let's take a quick look here. These can go to her. Oh, she's full. Um, these could go to Imowen. And that could go to Rasad, who can store these up for now. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a potion of antidote. Okay. And I wanted to trade these to her. Oh, we have a tome to identify, too. Can't quite fit all of them yet. We're getting up there in money again. We could go buy the robes for Dynahair in a few thousand more dollars. Um, okay, let's take a look at these books real quick. I don't think I've read that one, so I'll keep it. Shadowdale 9. I don't remember that one, so I'll read that maybe next time. I do remember this. I think I've read it twice. History of the North 7. Hmm. I don't think I read that one. Western Heartlands. Hmm. Don't recognize that one either. Unicorn Run I also don't recognize. This one I definitely recognize. Okay, well. Until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, making his way out of the tower, and signing off.